In this video, I'm going to go over the concept of replication. Right now, I'm going to go and make a new project and I'm going to select C++ and first person. Now, this won't be a formal tutorial, so you don't necessarily have to follow along, but I'm basically just going to go over replication. Unreal Engine's networking model is considered to be a authoritative server meaning that the server is the computer process with all the true instances of actors that will be replicated or sent to all the clients, while the client is the computer process with all the instances of actors received from the server. So the client is basically a privileged spectator in the sense that the server is in control of the game. The client has to use specific inputs and commands to communicate with the server, which then communicates with the rest of the clients. In theory, this model was meant to prevent cheating. For instance, if the client changed its player's health to 1 million or its velocity to 1 million, it would not have any effect because these values won't be affected on the server, unless the client found a loophole in the game that allowed it to relay these changes to the server. With that said, let's name our project anything. I'm just going to name mine replication intro and click on create project and just wait for it to create. Once the project is finished creating, I'm going to do a couple things here. So first select on the player and then delete it. And now go down to the content browser here, select the content folder, then the first person CPP folder, then blueprints, then open up your first person character. And make sure the full blueprint editor is open up. You may have a option to do that. Once you have this open, go on the left side here and look where it says mesh one P on the right, search up only and make sure that this checkbox is checked off. It'll be under the rendering tab and it'll be titled only owner C and you're going to do the exact same thing for FP underscore gun. Go to for, go to the only owner C. Uh, box and check it off. Make sure it's not enabled. Click on save compiled and the reason why we did this is because now we're going to go down to this play button and make sure these settings are enabled. Make sure number of players is set to two. Make sure run dedicated server is enabled and make sure you have new editor window enabled as well. And then you're going to select play. And now because you set the only owner C uh, flags to not enabled, you can now see other players static mes meshes, whether it be the arms or the weapon. All right, so I just pressed escape to quit the game and I wanna now open up the first person character blueprint, make sure it's selected on first person character, look up on the right replicate and you're gonna see a flag called replicate movement. Click this box to disable this flag, save and compile. X out and I'm going to show you guys what this exactly did by playing the game. So now if I move client one in front of client two, you'll notice that client two is no longer seeing client one moving like it did before. That's because by disabling the replicate movement flag, client one's movement input information is no longer being sent to the server, which would have relayed, let's say the updated position from this movement input back to all the other clients for them to see. So on the server, if I alt tab to client two, client one is still where it originally spawned, right by client two. And this is how the server sees it too. Because if I move client two, you'll notice on client one, nothing's happening on the client, on client two on client one screen. This is because its movement isn't being replicated either. So how the server sees it is that both the clients have not moved from their original positions. If we go back to the first person character blueprint and re-enable the replicate movement flag, now when we play the game, you'll notice like before, client one, when we move in front of client two, client two will now be able to see client one's movement. That's because now the movement is once again being replicated to all the clients. So when client one moves, its movement information is being passed to the server, which it then replicates to client two and client one actually, and whatever clients are also in the game. So if we go to client two, we'll notice even 
client 2 is moving in front of client 1, and client 1 can see these movements. Another thing I wanted to touch on was the replication of spawning of actors. So if we press play, and if I move client 1 in front of client 2 and shoot at client 2, you'll notice that client 2 doesn't see the projectiles. Only client 1 does. That's because if we go to the code, go to the character C++ class, and scroll down to the on fire function, spawn actor is called, but this function is tied to an input event. So there's nothing special about it. It's just called on the client. Unless, however, we're not on a dedicated server. Maybe we're on a listen server where the player essentially is the server. So to enable that, we click on run dedicated server to disable that. However, we still won't see the projectile. That's because by default, this first person projectile, if we click on first person projectile here and look up replicate, by default, it's not set to replicate. So we should click on this box to enable it to true. And now when we play the game, you'll notice that this client on the left here is acting as a server. So if I shoot at the client, the client can now see the spawning of these projectile actors. However, if we go back to the client and we shoot at the server player, the server can't really see the projectiles. That's because spawn actor is still tied to an input event function. So it's either going to call on the client if it's a client and if it's calling the server, which in this case is a player because we're on a listen server, then the server will replicate that information to all the other clients. Now another thing I haven't touched on is how come the animation from the fire firing is not being replicated either. Now that will have to be covered in another tutorial or video. If you guys liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. Check out our social medias in the description below and thank you for watching.